Once you have downloaded the free software for the Wii Remote Whiteboard, you need to get your Wiimote to connect to your computer with Bluetooth. So on a Mac, you'd hit the Apple, System Preferences, and then Bluetooth. From here, you want to make sure both of these are checked. Hit Set Up New Device. And then what you want to do is take off the cover to your Wiimote for the batteries. There is a red button back there. You need to hit that. Once you've hit it, you'll see something like Nintendo show up right there. Hit Continue. And then you should see Congratulations. You may hit Quit. This is the only time you have to connect your Wiimote to the Bluetooth. Once you have connected your Wiimote to the Bluetooth on your computer, you can get started by opening up the Wiimote software. You will see a box like this open up. On your Wiimote, click buttons 1 and 2 at the same time. And if it's the first time you're opening it for the day, you will see the script start to show up. Give it a few seconds to load. Now, once in a while, you might see something like connection failed. Please try again. Just hit buttons one and two, and then you'll start to see more script load. Now, you know you've done it correctly if when you move the script over, you can see that there is a, a battery level. If you see that battery level, it is now talking to your computer. So from this point, you are ready to start calibrating, which is the button right down there. Turn on your projector and hit calibrate. Make sure that your uh, projector is connected to your computer. And this is the very first button that you're going to start with, your infrared pen. Okay, to get started using your Wii Remote as an interactive whiteboard, what you need to do is start by having your Wii Remote set up to point at your board. You also need to have your computer plugged into the projector. And you'll notice here I have mine set up on a tripod. You could just use a stool or something like that. That'd work fine. Um, I have a, a little piece that I bought to uh, use as a connector. So now what I need to do is turn the software on on my computer. There's the Wii Remote software. And I'm going to go back over to here and I'm going to be pressing buttons 1 and 2. It'll give you those directions right on the software box that popped up there. And what I'm looking for is a blue light. There it is. That shows that my computer is now talking to my Wii Remote. And the next step is to calibrate. So the calibrate button is right down here. And I'm going to make this now move up to my screen. And I have my infrared pen ready to go. There we go. All right, so let's try it. I'm going to step off to the side. I'm going to go right in the center. The more accurate you are here, the more accurate your interactive whiteboard will be. I'm pressing a button as I go to the center of this, just like that. Right now, your computer is talking to the board. So your board is the computer. I'm going to open up maybe a website that I like. This is Picasso Head. I want to maybe show the students how to do something using that. I've got that. I can scale up, grab in some eyes, have the kids rearrange them into something interesting. It's a great website to use. So you can do anything that you do on your computer right here and be able to interact with it.